The civil rights movement may be over now, but there are still many racial, gender-related, and countless other issues that persist in our society today. Here, we'll take a look at some of the big ones, some of the most influential and determined figures in the fight to bring equal rights to all. Here, we'll take a glance through some civil rights leaders that helped change history. 12. Ella Baker You may not know about this hero of the civil rights movement, but that's okay because not many do. She was a significant player and spent most of her five decade long career working behind the scenes to assure equality for all. She worked with MLK, Thorgood Marshall, W.E.B. Dubois, and A. Philip Randolph. She mentored those like Bob Moses, Stokely Carmichael, Diane Nash, and even Rosa Parks before her Montgomery protest. She was also essential in the forming of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, or SNCC, which was a significant organization of the civil rights movement. Not many know her, but she's known as one of the most important and influential African-American leaders of her time. She's also sometimes considered one of the most important women in the entire movement, so remember her name. 11. James Meredith This man is yet another civil rights movement icon, and just like Ella Baker, he's not very well known. Meredith was an important figure, as he was the first ever African American student to be admitted to the University of Mississippi, a segregated school at the time. The admittance and intervention of the federal government to make it happen were major points in the movement and was a spark which would help to bring change in the future. Following his groundbreaking admittance, in 1966, he had a 220-mile solo march planned, called the March Against Fear, and he was to walk to Jackson, Mississippi, from Memphis, Tennessee. Just a day in, on the second day, he was shot by a white man and hospitalized due to numerous wounds. While he was in the hospital, the march grew, and when he was able to rejoin it, he led the way into Jackson, with more than 15,000 people behind him. He lives in Jackson to this day. 10. Bayard Rustin this man sat mostly behind the scenes and helped to organize many social movements for many different causes throughout his lifetime. He led pushes for things like civil rights, gay rights, nonviolence, and socialism, although the name isn't usually one that comes to mind when you think of all these issues. Back in 1941, Rustin worked alongside A. Philip Randolph to organize the March on Washington movement and push for ending discrimination in employment. He also pretty much mentored Martin Luther King Jr. and taught him ways to be a better leader and about nonviolence. The March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom is another march he helped plan and get together, and throughout the 70s and 80s, he went on many a humanitarian mission. He was on one such mission in Haiti when he passed in 1987, and he posthumously received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from Barack Obama in 2013. 9. Senator Everett Dirksen Everett Dirksen was an American politician that played a significant role in getting some key legislation passed during the Civil Rights Movement. He served as the Senator of Illinois in the Senate and the House of Representatives. From 1959 to 1969, he was the Senate Minority Leader and played a vital role in the politics of the period. And he helped to write and pass both the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Civil Rights Act of 1968. He was said to be an extremely talented orator and was liked by many back in his day. The cool thing about Mr. Dirksen is that he was a white man and supported equal rights, which undermined the alliance between Western Republicans and Southern Democrats over civil rights. 8. A. Philip Randolph This is another guy who had his hand in many different things. He was a leader in socialist parties, the American labor movement, and in the civil rights movement. He created a labor union that was made of mostly African Americans, called the Brotherhood of Sleeping Car Porters, and it was the first of its kind. He was the type of leader that would push and push and agitate over and over to get his intended target's attention. And when he did, things would happen. He became a thorn in the side of President Franklin D. Roosevelt and with the backing of other labor rights activists, pushed things until Roosevelt put out an executive order in 1941 to end discrimination in defense industries during the Second World War. Then, in 1948, he set his sights on President Henry S. Truman, and he agitated until Truman issued an executive order which ended segregation of the armed services. He was also the head of the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom in 1963, and inspired what's known as the Freedom Budget. 7. Rosa Parks now, this is a name anyone who knows anything about the civil rights movement will know and remember. Rosa Parks was on a bus in 1955 in Montgomery, Alabama, when she was asked by the driver, James F. Blake, 
to move from her seat to make room for a white man, but she refused. This prompted a removal from the bus and the arrest of Parks and kicked off the Montgomery Bus Boycott, a major event for the civil rights movement. Did you know that Parks wasn't the first African-American woman kicked off a bus that was going to become the face of a court challenge on the matter? She was just the best candidate the NAACP could see using to get the win. But Claudette Colvin, a 15-year-old girl, had been removed from a bus and arrested just nine months before Parks. Colvin believes the NAACP believed an adult would be a better face for the fight, thus why Parks was chosen. Parks went on to become a huge international icon and a well-known face in the movement and received a Congressional Gold Medal, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, and in 1979, the NAACP's Spingarn Medal for her actions. 6. James Farmer This man was big in the civil rights movement and founded and organized many great things to further the movement in his day. He fought to pull apart segregation through nonviolent protest and worked with Martin Luther King Jr. directly. He had a hand in the formation of the Committee of Racial Equality in Chicago, which he served as national chairman for from 1942 to 1944. The committee's name was later changed to CORE, or Congress of Racial Equality. He was later considered one of the big six leaders of the civil rights movement alongside MLK, the Urban League head Whitney Young, Roy Wilkins, the NAACP chief Dorothy Height, and John Lewis. He also organized and wholly initiated the Freedom Ride in 1961, a move which ultimately played a part in interstate transportation becoming desegregated. He remained in politics for most of the rest of his life and taught after that until 1998. He passed away in 1999 due to complications with his diabetes. 5. John Lewis John Lewis was a major player in the civil rights movement and is still alive and currently serving his 17th term in Georgia's 5th Congressional District. He served in the position since 1987, and the district he oversees covers roughly three-quarters of Atlanta. He too was an organizer for the March on Washington and was considered to be part of the Big Six. At the time, he was the SNCC's chairman and had an important role in the movement. He was also the youngest of the Big Six and fought to help African Americans get the right to vote and to gain protections against police brutality. He was an original Freedom Rider during the first Freedom Ride and was one of the first on the ride to be assaulted for his blatant disregard for the laws of the times. He too received many awards and medals for his work. 4. Roy Wilkins Mr. Wilkins played a large part in the civil rights movement by being a leader of the NAACP between 1955 and 1977. But even before that, he was working to resolve many civil rights issues. He was actually a prominent member of the movement beginning in the 1930s throughout the 1970s. He worked as a journalist in his early career, and when confronted with the Jim Crow laws, he moved on to New York City to work under Walter Francis White as assistant NAACP secretary. He ended up taking W.E.B. Dubois' job as editor of the NAACP magazine, The Crisis, when Dubois left the organization. He then helped form the Leadership Conference on Civil Rights in 1950, and after that, went on to leading the NAACP in various positions. 3. Dorothy Height This superwoman began her work in civil rights activism at age 25, after doing work as a caseworker for the Welfare Department in New York City. She didn't just fight for the rights of African Americans either, but for the rights of women, and she combined them for her specialty, rights and issues of African American women. She tried to tackle critical problems such as voting rights, illiteracy, and unemployment, and served for 40 years in the National Council of Negro Women as president. Although her role in the civil rights movement was often ignored by the media due to sexism, many considered her one of the big six, including the others regarded as such. She often counseled high-up American leaders, such as Lyndon B. Johnson and both Dwight D. Eisenhower and First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. She had countless awards, honors, and medals bestowed upon her throughout her lifetime, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the Spingarn Medal, and the Presidential Citizens Medal. 2. Fannie Lou Hamer Fannie Lou Hamer worked as a leader and organizer in the civil rights movement and was also active in women's and voting rights activism. She helped to found the Freedom Democratic Party and also had her hand in forming the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee and Mississippi's Freedom Summer. She ran for senator in the state of Mississippi in 1964 and for the Mississippi State Senate in 1971, but she was unsuccessful at both attempts. She started her activism in 1962 
but her health began to decline nine years later, giving her only a short time to work towards her goals. She was integral in the abolishing of racially biased voting requirements and is remembered for her part in her success of African Americans gaining equal education rights. We've seen some real fighters who did what they believed was right to bring rights to all so far, and we still have the number one to go. But first, we'd like to ask, what has inspired you to live your life justly and watch out for others? A friend, your parents, an event that occurred during the civil rights movement itself? Let us know in the comments below. 1. Martin Luther King Jr. MLK was undoubtedly the most visible and famous of the civil rights leaders, but he was also a Baptist minister and lived his life with the values instilled in him by his religion and by looking at figures like Gandhi. He led the Montgomery bus boycott, was the first ever president of the SCLC, helped organize the March on Washington, fought for racial equality and won a Nobel Peace Prize for it, and more. He will forever be remembered for his push for nonviolent protest, his I Have a Dream speech, and his contributions that helped various civil rights and voting rights acts get passed. Then, he was shot on April 4, 1968, on his balcony at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, Tennessee, by James Earl Ray. He was rushed to St. Joseph's Hospital, but would not survive, and he was pronounced dead at 7.05 p.m. He was given the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the Congressional Gold Medal, and many other awards and medals. He also has thousands of streets named for him, a Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial in Washington, D.C., and a day federally dedicated to him every year. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to help us out by leaving a like. Subscribe to our channel below or by clicking on our logo right here on this screen so that you can keep up with all of our amazing uploads. And check out this next video that we handpicked just for you. Oh. <laughs>